In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter library Google Maps Flutter for your Flutter app. Let's get started. This is the app we're going to build today. As you can see here, this is the Google Maps and then we can just drag it as we want to. If you want to zoom in, so in the simulator you hold the option key and then drag it like this with your mouse or you can also hold the option key and then just turn so that the map rotates. Also, we can go to a specific location. In this case, we're going closer to the lake here. So let's go to the lake by pressing on the floating action button here. And as you can see, it also changed the bearing angle of the map. Let's get started. So the Flutter package we're going to use is called Google Maps Flutter. All you have to do is of course click on this here to copy it to your clipboard and in your pubspec.yaml file in your Flutter app just paste it in here and run pubget. There's another additional step we have to do for the setup which is getting an API key for the maps. So for this click on this link here then you will come to this website where you click on get started and if you don't have a Google Clouds platform account yet you have to go through some setup steps otherwise it will enable Google Maps for your projects then this should look very similar to this where you now have the Google Maps platform. If you don't see this simply click on here and scroll almost all the way down and then under other Google products just click on here Google Maps platform. Then you have to create a new project so click on here if you have no project selected yet and then click on new project then you would give this project a name so I gave it Google Maps test as a name then you have to select your billing account and you can also choose your location I've already created the sample project which is as mentioned Google Maps test next we have to enable the APIs for Android and iOS. So go under the APIs here. Then usually when you don't have an API yet enabled, this usually looks a bit different, but all you have to do is search for this Maps SDK for Android. Then you click on it and then click on the button enable. Once it's enabled, you can go back to APIs here and see if this Maps SDK for Android is underneath now the enabled APIs. If so, this worked perfectly fine. Then we also have to do the same thing for iOS. So then search under the additional APIs for Maps SDK for iOS, then also enable it and go back to the APIs here. And if both are underneath here, then the setup is going very well. Next, we also have to create an API key. For this, we need to go under credentials and then you simply press on here, create credentials, API key, and you have to copy this API key, which we are going to use later on in our Flutter app. After we've gotten our API key, we still have to do some setup for Android and iOS. First, for Android, go under your Android folder, then under App and open up your build.gradle file. And here we have to change this line here with the min SDK version. Usually it's a normal number, but in newer versions with Flutter starting from 2.8, it says flutter.min SDK version. So we have to change something else beforehand. For that, go under your Android project and then open up the local.properties. And in here, we have to define flutter.min SDK version equals to 20. Then back in our build.gradle file, we can comment this line or delete it if you want to and then replace it with this line. So we load the min SDK version from the local.properties. Then another thing we have to do for our Android setup is going to our Android manifest file. So this you can find under Android, app, source, main, and then the Android manifest.xml. And in here, below your application open tag, paste in this metadata tag, and then add up here your API key you got from Google. This is all we have to do for the Android setup. Next, for iOS setup, we only have to do one thing and that is going to the app delegate file. So go to your iOS folder, then under render, open up your app delegate.swift file and then first import Google Maps and then secondly within the application function, paste in this line here and replace this with your API key, which then finishes our iOS setup for Google Maps. So now let's see how we can use the Google Maps API in our Flutter app. So first you have to define a Google Maps controller. For this you have to import our Google Maps Flutter package and also import the Dart async library. Then this is our initial position where our map starts when we start our app. Here you can define the target, so the camera position in latitude and longitude and then the zoom level. Then 
for our floating action button when we press on it we want to go to a different position within our maps so here we define the lake position this is simply a camera position the target is again a latitude and longitude object here we define again a zoom and for the bearing this is rotating your map clockwise so let's say we comment this reload our app and then go to the lake as you can see here you can see those color boats up here now let's uncomment this again and go to the lake again and as you can see here now the boats are on this side so basically it just rotated clockwise our map for the tilt as you can see here we don't see it directly from above but a bit tilted so if we comment this and reload our app then we will see the lake from above as such and with the tilt we would see a bit more here and a bit less here so just for comparison again let's go to the lake again and as you can see here you can see further here so as you can see the map is basically tilted a bit so then for our app for the scaffold we simply have our google map widget here we can define the map type and this map type can either be satellite hybrid normal or terrain so if you use normal for example then you can see this has the usual look when you start other maps applications let's go back to hybrid and as mentioned our initial camera position is our defined variable up here Google Plex also I hit the location button so if this were here and let's comment the floating action button just to show you what this does basically shows this location button but it doesn't work because you still have to implement the location services yourself there's another package for this but this is out of the scope of this tutorial. And then we have our floating action button, which has an icon, the text, and then when it's pressed, we say controller.animate camera, and then to new camera position, and in this case, the lake. So again, if we load this app again, and we press on this, it will animate the camera to the lake position as such. There's a lot more things you can do with the Google Maps Flutter package, but I wanted to keep this very simple. If you want to have more information or a more in-depth tutorial about this, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, please leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching.